Good morning, folks. Today we've got yet another hit for the earthquake forecasting model. We're up over 81%. We're also taking a peek at news from the ground to the sun and way, way beyond. But we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star to be relatively calm. As you could see in the opening and throughout the news this time of year, it is annual SDO eclipse season when the satellite hides behind the Earth and can't see the sun for a few hours each day. Alas, things are quite calm. No filament eruptions and certainly no solar flares. The sunspots are having a difficult time getting it together on the Earth-facing disk, could be falling apart actually and still lacking magnetic danger. The solar wind shows that brief phi angle twist last night preceded a density rise, dip in plasma temperature, and those were followed by a small rise in particle speed. Earth is handling it well, just a minor stream from the southernmost edge of the corona hole facing Earth three days ago. Of course, the bulk mass faced us yesterday, still more solar wind coming, and we also know it peaked the earthquake watch. Within just a few hours of yesterday's news, a magnitude 6.5 struck very, very deep in Bolivia, more than 590 kilometers underground. At the time, there was only 12% of global active faults on alert, opposed to the 18% average we're running with, and the central alert within the continent took the event epicenter within its red line. These maps post to the Disaster Prediction app, and usually share on Twitter afterwards. The alerts, warning maps, and a direct line from me to you about major disasters on a global scale. We're sticking with quakes because a fantastic paper on seasonal seismicity is out, and it takes a peek in on various areas around the world. Apparently there is a major seasonal shift due to ice buildup and melting in specific areas around the world, with some showing a modicum of relation but others showing a very impressive relationship. Also linked for you in a very cool article about how our heliosphere twists interstellar magnetic fields as our solar system moves through the galaxy. Sun and the planets are at the center arch of the C-shape. Moving much further out as Fermi has detected gamma ray signatures in Andromeda, M31, and they are not all that dissimilar from the strange gamma signatures found in our own galaxy. They have lots of ideas what causes them, from dark matter to the much better guess of super powerful stars. And speaking of these, they are almost certainly the source of ultraluminous X-ray events, just one step down from the gamma range. And scientists have also detected such a signature that is exceeding what they thought was possible by a thousand times, has sped up its rotation nearly 25% in just over a decade, and these combined means it shouldn't even be able to maintain a spheric shape, should just nova of some sort. Anyway, you want to see a driver with his eyes open? This scene has been all too common in the West the last week. Roads continue to either be covered or completely washed out and destroyed. Caltrans Twitter feed is epic right now, by the way. In addition to the Disaster Prediction app, the full earthquake model presentation, and goal to get one million people predicting earthquakes begins at Observing the Frontier 2017. It is short notice if you haven't booked your spot yet, but if you have, make sure your travel and lodging are in order as we're coming up on the 40 days away mark. Website members got another Deeper Look episode, and it's one of those non-standard topics we're diving into Mind War the government and psychological operations. Right here, we've got pressure and radar forecasts, a null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.